Hello, I am Carissa and this is Carissa's Garden. Today I am going to try an experiment. I am going to try to grow I am going to try to grow dahlias from seed. Uh, I did order some tubers and uh, did plant some up as well that I bought here in town. Um, but um, I am really looking forward to trying to grow them by seed myself. So this is the variety I found. It was just today at the store and I thought that would be such a good experiment, right? Um, just to try something new. This variety is called Sunny Reggae and uh, the colors are coral, mango, and tangerine. Um, and they are a semi-double uh, type. And from what I've from what I've read is uh, you typically from a seed will get a single or a semi-double um, dahlia tuber or dahlia variety. Um, you won't get the you know beautiful fluffy <laughs> cactus style ones that are very popular. Um, but yeah, I'm very very excited to try this out. And then um, from the ones I grow, if a lot of them germinate, I will be picky about the ones I choose to keep and others maybe I'll give away um, because the the way dahlias reproduce is um, it's by pollination so that pollinated seed that comes at the end of the season will produce an entirely new variety when you grow from a tuber that is what you're getting so if you order a beautiful <laughs> double dahlia type that is what you're planting and that is what you'll get but by seed it's a bit of a wild card so yeah, I'm very excited about these and open to the different types that I get. So I thought the best way to go about it was to uh, soil block because there are 50 of these and I'm running out of space, <laughs> honestly. Well, no, I, I have a whole um, four foot wide shelf full, four shelves high, and then I have another one that I'm going to start uh, filling up. But anyway, for the sake of space, and because I'm not sure if these will all germinate, I'm going to try doing 50 in this container. I've usually fit about 40, so I'm going to push the envelope a little bit and put 10 extras in there, and we will see. I will take you along uh, for the process, and you can see how they germinate. Apparently it takes about two weeks to germinate, and then 100 days to mature. So obviously these will be blooming in the summer if I start them now which is, uh, it's about the second week of March right now, so that should take us into the summer when we get our first blooms. So, very excited. Uh, I'm going to grab my soil and we will get going. I have two soil block units in, which is 40, and as you can see, I have the perfect little section to throw 10 more in, so I'm going to see if I can maneuver to get just, just a section, just the one side. That's not going to be 10. <laughs> it might not all fit, but that's okay. I feel like if I... If I spread the seeds out in my lazy way, I think this will be fine. This will be this will be about uh, 45, actually. Okay, there we go. Magic, I did it. Okay, there we go. That's 45 soil blocks, and if the seed packet is correct. Um, there's 50 in here, so it should be fine because, you know, I might sprinkle a couple below and just leave them. This uh, brand of the seed company is called Mackenzie, and here in Canada we have a wide variety of Mackenzie. It's, it's quite a popular seed company. I've picked up quite a few different Mackenzie types. Okay, so these do have a protective seed coating, um, an all-natural seed coating which is fine. It doesn't seem to change the germination rate in my limited experience. Um, my germination rate is quite high so far, um, 
but you know this is the beginning <laughs> we'll see how it goes you know when they're when they're large plants and then I'm gonna have to take care of them indoors that'll be a bit more of a challenge <laughs> okay I will plug these in five more so I do have a total of 50 and there are still seeds in the seed packet so I'm just going to put them in my collection and maybe I'll try them again another time but for now 50 is plenty I do love it though when the seed seed companies just throw in extra it's like a bonus so I'm gonna add a uh, vermiculite to the top and these will be placed under lights and on a heat mat to facilitate their germination. There we go. So, like I said, this is my first time growing dahlias from seeds. So this will be quite the experiment. So this is part one. Stay tuned. And I will uh, take you along when they germinate. And... From then on, hopefully it will be a successful year for these little seed babies. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me and I hope you have a great day. See ya.